Thank you for taking the time to view this ESSA webinar on the Title IV Part A Student Support and Academic Enrichment Program. We would greatly appreciate you providing feedback by using the Guiding Questions document that was sent with this link and is also on the ESSA page on the OPI website. Please send your feedback to the email address that will be listed at the end of the webinar. Under No Child Left Behind, the Title IV Part A was known as Safe and Drug-Free Schools. This money was historically focused on school safety and substance prevention in schools. Under the Every Student Succeeds Act, Title IV Part A is now known as the Student Support and Academic Enrichment Program. While the original Safe and Drug-Free School activities are still permitted under this funding, the new language expands the scope of this title to also include activities for students to access a well-rounded education, safe and healthy student activities, as well as to improve the use of technology to improve student academic achievement. This slide depicts the breakdown of the funds in Title IV Part A. For fiscal year 2018, Montana will receive $1,940,000. Of these dollars, 95% will be awarded to LEAs or consortiums. 1% of funds will be used within the OPI for administration, and the remaining 4% will be used for providing training and technical assistance to LEAs in the three categories, including well-rounded educational opportunities, safe and healthy students, and technology. This slide breaks down the OPI's proposed activities for providing training and technical assistance to LEAs, which includes course development on the Teacher Learning Hub, supporting the regional education service areas, and supporting existing staff within the agency who help schools with current legislatively mandated activities, including suicide prevention, bully prevention, human sex trafficking prevention, and school emergency planning. If an LEA received Title I Part A funds in the 2016-17 school year, they will be eligible to receive a subgrant for the 2017-18 year under Title IV Part A. In the new guidance, the U.S. Department of Education allows states to make the decision on distributing the subgrants through either a competitive process or a formula to all LEAs. Due to the small amount of available funding for Title IV Part A, the decision was made to grant the money through a formula to the LEAs. This formula will use the same ratio used to calculate Title I allocations. Through the formula grant process, districts will be encouraged to transfer their funds into either Title I or Title II. In doing so, the funds will take on the characteristics of the title in which they are transferred into, and thus the reporting requirements and administrative burden for Title IV would be removed. If the LEA chooses to transfer their Title IV Part A funds into Title I or Title II, the money will be available for the 2017-2018 school year. If the LEA chooses to leave the funds in Title IV Part A, the money will not be available until the 2018-19 school year because the OPI will need to develop reporting and monitoring procedures. Please take time to fill in the guiding questions document and send it to me, Tracy Mosman. My email is listed on this slide and on the guiding questions document. Analysis of these questions will be reviewed the second week of June and help guide Montana's state plan.